Hi everyone, I'm Nana Girl and I want to be a superhero and this week the superpower that I'm trying to get is the power of super sight. Just imagine all the cool things that I could do with the power of super sight. I could see through walls and far off into the distance and oh, I could look at all of my favourite things like dogs and rainbows and let's put them on, let's see. Wait, I think I see a dog. Look, I do see a dog. Oh, look, it's Science Spot. Okay, oh, that's right. I'm not just seeing dogs, that's not a superpower. This is my dog. Okay, thanks dog. See you later. Uh, I need to figure out how to see my other favorite thing, rainbows. Now I know how to make temporary rainbows with soap and water. You may be able to do this at home. Just put some soap and some water together and see if you can blow through a circle in your fingers to make a bubble. Look at that. And if you look at the bubble, you should be able to see that there is a rainbow halfway up. It's red and it's yellow and there's pink. All sorts of colours. I love rainbows. Um, oh, but now it's gone. Do you know what rainbows need? Rainbows need light. You may have noticed a rainbow in the sky on a day when it was raining and then the sun came out. That's because sunlight is actually made up of waves of different colours blended together. And each of these colours has a different wavelength. So when light moves from the sun to our eyes, it does with a certain type of wiggle or wavelength. Now when light goes through a raindrop through the water, each of the different colours does a different wiggle inside the rain, which causes them to split up so we can see all of the colours individually. I know, let's make some rainbow glasses. For this, you are going to need card, scissors, pencil, ruler, marker pens, some leftover plastic, and some tape. What you need to do, number one, is measure your head. Okay, you're gonna take a ruler and you're gonna measure the width of your head. Okay, so I'm gonna put my fingers here. I should see that my head is gigantic, 14 centimeters. You're gonna draw that as a line across the top of your car. Now, those are gonna be the eye parts of your glasses. So you can make them as long as you like. Let's figure out how long do we think they're gonna be? About that long, which is mine are six centimeters. But you can make yours as long as you like. But I'm gonna go six centimeters and six centimeters. Next, in the middle of your top line, you want to find what halfway was. So here is, mine was 14, so I'm gonna divide that by two, which is seven, to find the middle point. That's my bridge of my nose. And I reckon I need two centimeters either side. So I'm gonna make a bridge. Now I'm gonna draw in my glasses shapes. I'm gonna have a bridge across the top, glasses for my eyes. So you can make these whatever shape you like. Make sure you put a circle in the middle though, so that you can see and then add a tab on the end, either side, that is five centimeters long by two centimeters wide. That's gonna help you attach to the arms. There we go, and five by two over here. Okay, next, I need to figure out how to attach them to my head. And to do that, I need to measure the distance from the back of my ear to the front of my face. So the back of my ear is here, and the front of my face is here, I'm gonna take that measurement, and that is 11 for me. So I'm gonna take 11 centimeters, that is how long the arm needs to be, and I'll also make that two centimeters in width. Now don't forget, at the end, you also need to make a curly-whirly thing to go around your ears, like that. So these are your two shapes. So you're gonna cut those shapes out with some scissors. Okay, now the trick here is that once you've got one arm, to make them exactly the same, it helps if you fold your card over so you can make the same shape twice and then you just need to cut once. So I'm gonna cut this out twice with the folded card. Okay, so here we go. Two arms that go around my ears and one top, which are gonna stick together very soon. Now we need the middle bit, my rainbow bit. So right now I have nothing 
in here, I'm gonna add something see-through. So I found a little bit of a sandwich bag that was gonna go in the rubbish bin. I've saved it, I've washed it, and we're gonna cut out the shapes that sit over this eyepiece here. Okay, so I've cut them out. Now I need to tape them on. And then the next bit is quite fun. You're gonna color them in with some markers, whatever color you like. You can either make them stripy or you can color them your favorite colors in the rainbow. I think I'm gonna do the top and the bottom of the rainbow. So I'm gonna do a red and then a bluey violet color because those are my favorite. And next you're gonna have to fold the arms so that they can attach to your head and then tape those onto the arms that you made. So there you have it. Bits for your ears, the bits for your face. Let's take a look. Here we go. <gasps> Ta-da! Rainbow vision. This is so cool. And if I close one eye, everything is red. And if I close the other eye, everything is blue. My two favorite rainbow colors. And if I open my eyes, everything is purple. Wow, don't they look amazing? I'm really excited about these. Wait, what? What's that, Nana Nana Girl? You, you can't see them. Don't worry, I'll make you your own pair of rainbow glasses. Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna get onto that. I will see you all tomorrow for another amazing sight experiment, working on your superpowers, hopefully. First of all, Nana Nana Girl, though, before we do that, I'm gonna need to measure your head. Ooh, it's tiny.